gonna show you a, a real simple alternative to iced tea. Not that we don't all love iced tea. At least I like iced tea. But in case you don't or you just want something else um, to try this summer, um, I'm gonna show you how to make a different iced tea. This is a hibiscus tea, or some sometimes it's called Jamaica, if uh, depending on where you're at. Um, I just got a bag of the Jamaica from from Mama out in San Francisco. This is where I usually get it from. Um, let's make a simple syrup first. You know, sometimes you see in, in the stores you, you can you can buy really expensive simple syrup that you could have in your bar or to, to make your iced coffee with. And it's kind of funny that it's so expensive because it's only two ingredients. It's water and sugar. And so I'm going to show you how to make it today. I'm going to save you a, a whole bunch of money on your simple syrup. It's so easy that it's only two ingredients and it's one to one so you don't have to remember anything. One part sugar to one part water. We're just going to use a cup of each. And you can get fancier with it. You can you can put different fruit in there. You can flavor it with all sorts of different things. Um, for today's purpose, I'm just going to make straight simple syrup. You want to wait for it to boil. You want to mix it up a couple times. And even though you you know you'll at first it'll seem kind of thick because you're actually have a whole cup of sugar in there. It'll it'll dissolve and will eventually become clear. All right, let's do that hibiscus tea. I'm going to put a little bit of sugar in there. The hibiscus is sort of tart, almost like a cranberry. It's it's really fruity, it's really refreshing on a hot day, no, but we're going to cut it a little bit. This is just a, a half a cup of sugar going into three quarts of boiling water. Since this is already boiling, that dissolves pretty quickly. I'm going to put a, a cup and a half of hibiscus. Flowers and this is if you've ever seen a hibiscus flower, this is these are the flowers right off of it. There we go. It's about a cup and a half. I usually turn off turn off the burner. We're gonna let this seep for just until it cools. So we're gonna let it seep maybe maybe an hour. Hibiscus takes really well to different spices. I have about an inch of a cinnamon stick I'm going to pop in there and it'll just add a, a, a little bit of depth to the flavor. We'll let that seat for an hour. We'll come back and strain it and I'll, I'll show you the finished uh, simple syrup and you'll have a, a, a new drink that's going to be one of your favorites this summer. All right, we have the hibiscus tea and we have the simple syrup. They've both cooled enough to put in the containers. It's been about an hour or so. We're going to take that simple syrup and as you can see, you know that sugar has dissolved. Um, now you have, you know, one to one ratio of sh water to sugar. Take that hibiscus tea, throw it into a strainer. You'll see it's this, just this beautiful color. You want to be careful that you don't stain your kitchen with this. Uh, hibiscus will stain if you get it on everything. pour a glass if, if you're using the simple syrup I like mine a little bit sweeter than this you'll find hibiscus is sort of tart almost like a cranberry and so you, know, you just put a little simple syrup in there pour yourself a glass I love hibiscus tea. I hope you do too. Um, thanks for watching this episode real quick. 
simple, easy, summery um, drink. You can also make this in the winter, just serve it hot. Um, hope you enjoy it as an alternative to uh, just regular iced tea. We got a hibiscus tea.